I'm Brian Morris. I'm a certified health and wellness coach and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make a delicious vegetable and sausage frittata. Now I've included some vegetables that I like along with some Genio turkey sausage. Um, the first thing we're going to use are of course some eggs. You can use as many of these as you like depending on if you want to do this um, for your entire family or if you just want to make this to last you for the week. This is a great thing that you can um, you can slice it up and take it to work with you for lunch when you're doing your shakes for breakfast. Or it's even great for your kids first thing in the morning. Everybody's got a healthy breakfast and it's just quick and easy as I make ahead. So I have got some bell peppers that I've cut up and about a quarter of an onion and a clove of garlic. Now I've already got my pan getting hot to stick my um, quarter of an onion and my garlic in. So I'm going to toss that in real quick. And just let that get started in a nice sizzle there. A little bit of sea salt. So I have about three large mushrooms I've cut up. I've cut up an entire green bell pepper, a yellow bell pepper, and I also have some julienne um, tomatoes. They're packed in olive oil that I've drained really well. I have shredded up about, or grated um, some black pepper Romano cheese. You could also use mozzarella cheese in this recipe. Um, so I've already done about a half a cup of that for my cheese. Now I, I'm gonna add spinach as well. So I'm gonna put a lot of different things in here. So while that's cooking, we're gonna get our eggs broken and in our bowl here so we can get them whisked together. I'm going to do five eggs for this, but you could always use more and increase your vegetables as well. So I've got five eggs that I'm going to whisk up here, and I'm going to check on my... I've just got this on a medium-low heat. Okay, so the egg mixture we're going to pour over once we get all the vegetables cooked. So we want all of our vegetables thoroughly cooked before we stick this in the oven. I have my oven preheated on 375 degrees. Okay guys, I've added about eight ounces of turkey sausage to my quarter of an onion and my garlic clove that were already starting to um, caramelize and um, just they were beginning to look translucent. translucent. So I've already added those and I'm just making sure all my turkey sausage is broken up and um, ready to go. Here's a quick look at how, how that's gonna look there. Now, I'm not drinking wine here. I'm drinking uh, my SPN Energy drink. My little one is getting some molars in and um, he was up for a while. So this is what I'm drinking here. This is available on my website. This is some of the best stuff I ever had. It is packed with essential vitamins and neuroactive amino acids for long-lasting energy. Has 4,000% B12, and when you're up for an extra hour at night with a little one, it's really helpful. <laughs> so I'm enjoying that while I'm making this so me and the kids and the husband can eat this in the morning for breakfast. Okay, so now we're going to add all of these delicious bell peppers. So I had a whole green bell pepper and a whole yellow bell pepper, along with some mushrooms. Just gonna add it all in here. And I'm gonna wait until closer to the end to add my few little julienne um, sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, so this is really good and full here of vegetables. I'm just going to try to incorporate this sausage and let this cook down a little. This smells so delicious. I wish y'all could smell this. This is going to be so good in the morning. I'm just going to be able to pop it into the oven. This will be great also to take to work with you. I know a lot of people say they have a hard time getting in enough vegetables during the middle of the day without having to just do, you know, salad and chicken and things like that. So this is something really easy, really portable that you could take to work, pop in a toaster oven or in a microwave or something, um, or even eat it just as is. But this will be really good to take to work for lunch. 
Um, just so you're getting tons of vegetables. I'm gonna add just a pinch more salt here and some cracked black pepper. My kids are gonna love this. Now, like I said before, you can use a cheese of your choice. I just happen to really like um, this black pepper Romano, so I'm gonna use it, but you could definitely use mozzarella cheese. You could use um, different cheeses. Just be mindful of how much cheese um, you're using. Now, if you didn't want to use any cheese in this, this would be acceptable on phase one of my program. If you're using um, more cheese, this will be acceptable on phase two of the program. So we're just gonna let this cook down just a little here. And I'll give you a quick shot at what we're looking like. Just got it all incorporated to all those flavors. Um, are mincing together really well. I've got my oven preheated on 375 degrees, and this will probably take 10 to 20 minutes to cook. You just want it to cook when um, to cook your eggs thoroughly, but everything's going to cook right here in this one pan. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to add my all of these Julianne sun-dried tomatoes just to brighten it up a little. Mix those in. And I'm going to also go pick some fresh, um, some fresh oregano. I couldn't think. Reg oregano. I'm going to put some oregano in this. As well as some dried basil and a pinch of parsley. I want this to have kind of a. What you got, buddy? Oh, wow. What you got? Okay. I'm going to go pick that oregano and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, this is cooked down until most of these vegetables are translucent. I'm throwing some spinach leaves in. I put about a cup. And next we're going to take the five eggs that we've whisked together really well. And we're just going to pour them as evenly as possible over the top. Okay. And then I'm going to add the cheese that I grated earlier this delicious frittata. Now, if you like eggs a little um, fluffier like they are in a casserole or something like that, you could add a little bit of milk to this or water. Um, my husband doesn't like spongy eggs, so I'm not going to do that. We're going to do it just like this because he does not like spongy eggs. So, I'm going to give you a shot at what this looks like so you can see how pretty this is going to be. Oh, this looks delicious. Okay, I'm gonna pop it in the oven and I'll give you a view of what it looks like as soon as it's done. Okay, guys, I've just taken out this delicious sausage and vegetable frittata. It's been in the oven for about 20 minutes. You just wanna cook it until the eggs are done because everything else we put in there is completely done. So what I did is stick a toothpick in the middle of it, pull it out, make sure it's clean just like you would some other things. Um, it's completely done. I'm gonna try to give you a view here. I've already gotten me a um, slice out here. My husband's not here to help me video right now, but y'all, it's beautiful and it will slide completely out of here onto um, a pie plate or something to store in your fridge. You could also take this and put it in tinfoil individually to heat it up, or you could freeze it in um, single serve portions so you could just pop it out when you didn't feel like cooking a clean eating meal. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. It is acceptable on phase one and phase two of my program that you can purchase at briannemorris.com. I hope y'all all have a blessed day.